Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 48 of Let's Play Grimoire Heralds of the Winged Exemplar. Now, before we start today's episode, well, I could go ahead and open the game. You may notice, um... One second, I have to adjust the volume. You may notice that my, vo that my voice sounds a little bit different. Um, I got a laptop, and basically... The built-in mic was not that great. It's an older laptop. And uh, I found a headset in my storage, a very old Plantronics headset. So I'm using that for now until I get a better headset. And then um, the uh, quality should... Um, high again. Sorry. Alright, funeral arrange. Let's do it. It's my first time streaming this game on my laptop, so... Um... So let's see. You have not placed all the arrangements yet for the funeral. The bones of Alonzo Sugursu. Do I have to place everything in this bowl? Hmm, let's check the old quest tracker. Um, the dirge has been entrusted with the key to the stairs down in the chambers of the waters, but I'll only give it to you when my master's wishes have been carried out. You will find me the implements of the wake and bring them here to me to perform the ritual. Well, we do have them all. The pyre starter for the bull's bowl. So the pyre starter. And let's go ahead and look at these items as we use a pyre starter. These glowing embers are lit up by some eternal magic that keeps them forever burning. So, um, for the bull's bowl. Once you have all the arrangements for the eulogy and dirge in place, take the pyre starter to light the funeral fire in the bull's bowl, and stand silently while I conduct the service. Okay, so what about the burial mask? This burial mask is customarily placed upon the face of a dead man at a funeral to adorn him for his journey to the afterlife. Take the burial mask and put it on my master's remains in the shelf to your right. Okay. Not here, right? No, here. You place the burial mask over the skull of the remains of Alonzo. There's a burial mask on the skull. Okay, what about the prayer shawl? You equip the prayer shawl to one of your party members to show proper respect during my eulogy. Okay, so, Cleora. Oh, is there actually... Is there actually a uh, AC to this? Let's try it on Krug, because he doesn't have any armor. Wow, 10 AC. Unbelievable. Maybe we'll keep that thing. Oh, and I didn't actually look at it, my bad. This ancient prayer shawl knit of fine woven wool is so old it appears ready to disintegrate in your hands. The funeral wreath. This funeral wreath of dead and wilted flowers has collected dust for a long time forgotten in some corner but may still serve a purpose in some ceremony somewhere. Hang the funeral wreath on the disc on the wall to my left. Hmm, it's pretty neat. <laughs> you hang the wreath on the wall. I have some coffee here, too. There's a wreath hanging here. Wow, is that good coffee. Alright, and the walking cane. 
Take the walking cane and put into the hand of my master's remains in the shop to your right. You place the walking cane with the bones of Alonzo. There's a walking cane with the bones. There's a burial mask on the skull. Was that everything? Oh yeah, then the, the tribute. You have brought me the eulogy tribute book I will use to read a dedication to my master Alonzo. You light the fire in the bowl and the service begins for Alonzo Sangursu. The stone hand head clears his throat <clears throat> and begins to read with great enthusiasm as if he had waited a thousand years to perform, perform this eulogy. Oh, Alonzo, thy name is known to both thy friends and many strangers for cause of thine generosity and thine mercy towards the innocents, the orphans, and the sick and infirm. Thy generous spirit only exceeded by thy justice in thine dealings with thy peers and associates. Your honesty is of such renown that it is spoken of by sages in far-off lands who have heard of your virtue in this regard. As great as was your reputation in these fine... In these fine traits as a man, they all pale before your courage in the face of adversity and your widely admired skill at bringing out the best in all of us. Now, for the sake of all thine mourners and those who love thee so dearly, we dedicate this dirge in thine honor. O oh, Alonzo, how we will miss thee, Alonzo. Thou art gone into the land of shadows, our dearest Alonzo. Farewell, our heart goes with thee, our fondest friend, Alonzo. This concludes the service for our good friend, Alonzo Sigursu. That was pretty cool. Bring me the bones of my master from his crib where they lie to my right, and I will grant thee the key to the chamber of the water so that you can carry him to his funeral pyre. I don't know if the dirge was supposed to be a song. I did it anyway. <laughs> Alright. Alonzo's remain and Charon's toll. You discover clamped between the teeth of the skull is a shiny exotic coin with an infinity rune on it. Find the turtle and have him convey thee to the funeral pile in the middle of the underground lake. You must place the coin between his teeth before you place him on the pyre so that he will have the toll for the boat of Charon when he reaches the river of Styx. Once you have immolated his remains, you will return the ashes here to me. Wow. Lots of responsibility. Excuse me. Um. I hope we do it right. This will be 48A. Alright, cool. So let's head... Where are we? Here. Um... I'm gonna go here. Gives me a chance to drink some coffee. Maybe light up a smoke. <clears throat> Does she get to keep her first straw? I wonder. Could probably do with casting some. Ah. Uh, no effect. Some, um. Crushing hand here, right? That would probably be a good move. Oh, almost rusted Krug's new uh, prayer shawl armor. I hope he gets to keep that. That's 10 AC. 
and could possibly have some other benefit. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. We'll get there eventually. with a noise filter on and a noise gate so if my audio seems to be weird in any way it's a sort of an experiment no effect nice there's a kill by Lilix oh that's not a kill oh it is a kill he just didn't get hit with it yet Oh no. Saves. Armor hunt. Saves. I'm gonna get a lot of XP for this. Sam is a warrior now. This should do the trick. Sam the Warrior. 16 HP, 48 Vitality, 11 Magic, 2 Speed, 3 Strength, 1 Intelligence, and 3 Bonus Points. Let's go with Speed, Strength, and Agility. New Skill Points. <clears throat> Probably want to go with Nature Lore. Um, lethal Blow. Yes, we can put two in swimming. Here we go. Let's see. Swordsmanship five. Um, axe and scimitar five. And we were going. What else? How about spear and lance? In case we get any good spears. Alright, I didn't get a chance to save. Alright, let me save here. Rock warps, no problems. shawl still on. It is. It's unbelievable. Who needs leather armor when you've got an ancient prayer shawl? It seems like it's going to disintegrate in your hands, but it's magical. It is magical. So that's why it isn't disintegrating in our hands, of course. Critical blow. Serpentis improves his lethal blow. So, wow, great start to this episode. I'm gonna rest a little bit longer. There we go. Go ahead and save. We don't know what we're gonna come up against here. Whoops. I don't know if the common gate key. be a perfect time to hide a secret somewhere for somebody who's not prepared. 
Cool moist air wafts out of the mouth of the stairwell and the dungeon below carrying the unmistakable odor of fresh running water. Hmm. Whoa. Pretty intense music. Critical blow on a amoebic slime. Nice. The improvements are really stuff that I like. Oh, hive of terror mites. Uh, not too worried. Should I be? Blows. Seven fifty. Forty gold. Continue improves music. Chamber of the Waters. The silent waters of the underground lake are placid and as smooth as the surface of polished glass. No current or tide agitates the surface of these depths. Until we arrive. Well, we can't exactly swim. So, um... What are we supposed to do? You enter the water. Everyone improves swimming. the water. All our vitality was drained. I guess we're going to have to learn how to swim here. Our vitality is not really coming back too well. Huh. Easy, fellas. Nice, right in the abdomen. Termite screeches, Daisy Kins trembles in horror. Krug is racked with poison. There's some speed for you. I gotta hit my canteen. Huh. Hammer and mace, swordsmanship. Sam went up another level. <clears throat> 17 HP, 48 vitality, 9 magic, 2 constitution, 2 strength, 1 wisdom. Oh my gosh. I was parched after that cup of coffee, for some reason. <laughs> okay, um... It's a good point of strength, speed, and agility. Huh, you need some intelligence, too. Nature lore. Oh. Apologize, guys. My first, uh... I'm streaming from tablet. My, uh, wireless is acting a little funny tonight. <clears throat> it has just been... Kick kicked me off for about ten minutes. Prior to making this video. Oh dear.
Where did I save? Exit my game. Okay, we saved here. We didn't step into the water or fight the Terramites. Oh dear. Let's just end the game. Wow. He doesn't want to raise. The big guy was not happy swimming. I guess this is where we learn to sink or swim. Like, literally. I'm just curious if we go back in. Yeah, people die. Huh. Oh wait, was there something here? No, there wasn't. Any secret here? Any secret here? So we're literally learning how to swim. As long as we can actually do it this way, I don't mind. <clears throat> Eventually we'll get to the point where it doesn't train our vitality so massively. We have 42,000 gold, by the way. What's nice about this laptop is I can actually see the small numbers up close. Things like armor class and stuff. It's a lot easier to deal with. In. Huh. Oh. Gotta let resting do its thing. Variety. Lower hits for 13. 375. Alright, so I hope you guys bear with me a bit. As we learn to swim. Uh, I don't think there's any other option here. A blood leech. Two blood leeches. Hmm. Maybe I'm not doing this right and we have to put the bones down or something. Wow, we barely damaged them that time. There we go. Uh. 
900 XP for that. There's Sam's second level. Oh, it's fourth level. 17 HP, 48 hit points, 12 magic, 2 fellowship, 3 strength, 48 vitality, 1 willpower, 2 bonus points. Um, put them both in strength. I should have put them in intelligence. Um, nature lore. Well, might as well put 5 in swimming. And. One, two, three, four, five. One, and bladesman, swordsmanship, five. Um, yeah, are we supposed to, like, use the bones here? We don't have, like, something about a turtle. Take the XP. Whoa. That just drains vitality. Sixteen damage on an attack. may have to call an episode here. Guys. And I just picked it in the on a night when my wireless was kicking on and off. Not the laptop or anything. I had to unplug my modem. My cable modem. And uh, plug it back in and I thought that fixed it, but we're still having issues. So I'll go ahead and save here. Sorry about the shortness of the episode. Um, much more to come next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you still enjoyed despite the little uh, problems we had. Still a lot of fun to be had. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Stay cool.